Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Imagine living somewhere where, from September all the way to March, the sun never reaches your streets. That was the reality for the people of Rukan, a small industrial town nestled deep within a valley in Norway. Surrounded by towering mountains, this unique geography meant that for six long months, the town was plunged into a perpetual twilight. While the mountain peaks basked in sunlight, the town below remained in a cold, dark shadow. The lack of sunlight contributed to vitamin D deficiencies and what's often called winter depression or seasonal affective disorder. The residents longed for that warm, golden glow that so many of us take for granted. The idea to bring sunlight down to the people of Rukan isn't actually new. The town's founder, Sam Aid, proposed the idea over a century ago, back in 1913. However, at the time, the technology just wasn't there to make it happen. So instead, they built a cable car, the Crow Sabanon, to transport residents up the mountainside so they could get their dose of sunshine. It was a temporary fix, a weekend escape from the gloom. But the dream of bringing the sun directly into the town square never truly faded. Fast forward 100 years to 2013. That century-old dream finally became a reality. Drawing inspiration from a similar project in an Italian village, engineers undertook an incredible project. Three enormous mirrors, called heliostats, were airlifted and installed on the mountainside, 450 meters above the town. These aren't just ordinary mirrors. They are computer-controlled marvels that track the sun's path across the sky constantly adjusting their angle to capture the rays and reflect them down onto a specific spot, the town square. The result is magical. A 600-square-meter ellipse of bright, natural sunlight now illuminates the heart of Rukan during the darkest months. It's a place where children can play and neighbors can gather, feeling the warmth of the sun on their faces. This project, known as the Soul Spiel or Sun Mirror, wasn't just about light, it was about hope, community, and human ingenuity.